If you need any more proof that the old Republican Guard is out and the GOP is now totally and completely MAGA, just look at the Republican National Convention. Mitch McConnell, who has been in the U.S. Senate for 39 years and endorsed Donald Trump in March, announced the Kentucky delegates for Trump during the convention roll call. And here's the reception McConnell received. Madam Chairman. <laughs> Madam Chairman, the Commonwealth of Kentucky proudly cast 46 votes for the next president, Donald J. Trump. Applause and a few claps from the people standing next to McConnell, but McConnell was largely heckled and booed. McConnell is a staunch conservative and has tried to block nearly every Democratic policy proposal and judge for decades. But McConnell blamed Donald Trump for the January 6th Capitol riot. In turn, Trump targeted McConnell with angry rants, including attacking McConnell's wife with childish insults widely seen as racist. McConnell's married to former Trump Transportation Secretary Elaine Chao, who Trump called Coco Chow in unhinged social media posts. You would think that by now, especially in the wake of Donald Trump's calls for unity, at least Republican unity, that Republican convention delegates would either be silent towards McConnell or give polite applause. But instead, you heard the chorus of ugly boos, and ugly is a great word to describe the MAGA infection of the GOP. And the MAGA takeover is also on display in Donald Trump's vice presidential pick of J.D. Vance. Here is CNN political analyst Van Jones. This is a scary dude. Uh, scary dude. Because um, if you were hoping that uh, after this near-death experience, we're going to have a kumbaya convention, this is not a kumbaya pick. And so um, this would signal that Donald Trump is planning on doing a lot of um, hard uh, governing. He's got somebody in there who's a pit bull. He's an attack dog. He went to law school. He's going to be in there making a whole bunch of stuff happen. So if you're worried about the Project 2025 and all type of stuff, this is a guy that's going to really keep you up at night. Even the Vance election and how Trump came to this decision was an F.U. to the Republican establishment. There are multiple reports that Donald Trump had settled on picking North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum. But Trump's sons showed their dad an article highlighting praise for Burgum from famed establishment GOP strategist Karl Rove. Trump didn't like that Rove, embraced the Burgum pick. Trump was also reportedly turned off by lobbying for Burgum from Republican establishment media mogul Rupert Murdoch. He's the owner of Fox News. So Donald Trump listened to his sons and went full mega with J.D. Vance. Because he's not a campaign pick, he's a governing pick. To put in much more serious MAGA people in all of those positions in government that, you know, like Mike Pence did a lot of good work doing. And that spells a real change for the Republican Party going forward, if, that, if that's the case. A real change in governing for the Republican Party. The establishment, which supports foreign policy engagement and generally backs government institutions and agencies, including the Justice Department and the FBI, that establishment view is out. And MAGA, with its isolationism, distrust of all government agencies, and desire to get rid of tens of thousands of civil servants, that MAGA approach is in. Totally. So let there be no doubt, Donald Trump is reshaping the GOP so there's not even any connection to the old Republican establishment or old GOP guard that Trump once tried to work with. Instead, the GOP has completely morphed into total MAGA and will govern that way if Trump wins. It is a change from the old Republican establishment and in breaking away from traditional GOP values of optimism and civility, the MAGA GOP is now the party of anger and rage. By the way, the rollout of J.D. Vance as Donald Trump's vice presidential pick has been rocky, at least in the media. The candidate was fundamentally divisive, arrogant. I'm a never Trump guy. I never liked him. I never liked him. That was J.D. Vance just a few years ago. And now that Donald Trump has selected the Ohio Republican senator as his VP pick, Vance's previous hatred of Trump is getting a lot of attention. Terrible candidate. Idiot if you voted for him. Might be America's Hitler. Might be a cynical a-hole. Cultural heroin. Noxious. Check out that story at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.